Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Farmersburg Remastered. This is episode number three, and today we are uh, going to a hay sale. More specifically, we actually reached out to a, a person who had some hay for sale, and we got a good price for it, so we went ahead and bought it. It's not too many bales. It's about, I think, eight bales is what we bought. But the first thing that we're going to go and do this morning is pick those bales up. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe subscribe for more content in the future. If you guys are enjoying the double amount of content, both farming and crazy videos, then make sure you help me out and subscribe as well. Now we have to do something a little bit difficult. We got to find a way to get this bobcat all the way down the road to that guy's place, then drop it off, then come back, get our trailer, head back over there, load up the bales, come back and drop the trailer back off, go back, pick up the bobcat, take the bobcat back here, unload the bobcat, and then unload the bales and then disconnect the trailer. It's a process. Is it the most efficient way of doing this? Absolutely not, but it is the only way I have available to me at this time, so we are going to make the best with what we've got. All right, so what we're doing is trying to line this up to see if we can't get it to where we can just drive onto the back of this, and this is probably the best location for us to try this. I'm going to turn on my little strobes that I got on top of the truck, even though that's probably not going to warn anybody because it's what's in the ditch, but we'll hop up into the bobcat and we will give this a try anyway. So let's just watch for traffic. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. We're good to go. By the way, today is the seventh day. It is late spring, 934 in the morning, and we currently have 44000 $738 in the bank. All right, so we're going to see if we can't load our Ooh, elves up onto here. So let's just pick ourselves right on up. Come on. Get them tucked. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't set the parking brake. Oh, no. Well, let's see if we can make this work. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. All right. Um, guys, I think we're gonna have to try that one again. So let's just back right on up the hill again here. No biggie. Come on. There you go. Right on back. There we go. And before somebody comes, let's quickly reset this truck. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this one more time here. All right. Well, it was not an easy feat, and it is definitely not a well-balanced ride, but we've got it on the truck at the very least. This bobcat's very heavy. So we're gonna set this down just on the roof, just ever so slightly. We're not gonna hit any of the lights. We're good there. All right, so we've just lightly set that down on the roof. Let's go Go ahead and shut off the bobcat and try and crawl on out of here. All right, there we go. We got the bobcat loaded up to the truck. Let's hop on into the truck and see if we can't get on down the road. Oh, that is a little sketch, and I did not get it centered on there at all, at all did I? Um, and we are going to have to take this separately because I cannot connect a gooseneck with this on the flatbed. But nonetheless, let's get on down the road. I'm going to leave those flashers on because this load is a little crazy. We've got a bit of a drive ahead of us here. This guy lives all the way over on the other side of the county. So we will catch you guys once we get over closer to his farm. All right, guys, this should be his farm right here to our right. So we're going to start slowing down and pull right on in. Howdy, howdy, fellas. I know what they're thinking. They're thinking, boy, I've never seen a bobcat put on a flatbed like that before. Well, welcome to the show. Now, do y'all happen to have a nice ditch or a hill where I can unload this thing? Because if not, this is going to be a problem. And doesn't look like they've gotten out in their fields quite yet. That's not good. Oh, I see a bit of one right there, but that's going to be a tight squeeze. But it's, I think, the only place we are going to get. There's the bales that we're picking up right over there, actually. Um, but I think the only place with, the, with good elevation change that we can use is right here along this barn. And I think it might just be wide enough for us to squeeze our truck in and to squeeze our bobcat off. All right, right there we go, right up into the dirt. Perfect. Boy, fellas, I don't know. I think you might have made the perfect unloading spot. It's a little high, but I think that's almost perfect. All right, we're firing up the bobcat. We're going to lift up the front loader here all the... Well, we don't need to go all the way now, do we? All right, let's see if we can back up off of here nice and easy. Oh, we robbing... Oh, we got up off of it. Nice. Oh, heck yeah. If that ain't some country ingenuity on how to load and unload a bobcat, I don't know what is, man. All right, we got our bobcat here. I'm going to take it on over next to the bales that we're going to be loading up. But we also still have to go and pick it. Wow, that's some tall weeds through here. Let's meander on through. There we go. 
So we're going to leave this just right here on to do. We're going to head back and get our bale trailer loaded up to the truck. So we will catch you guys back at the farm. All right, we're pulling back into the farmyard. We're going to run back to... Actually, it's not back here. It is off to the right. We missed it. But that's fine. We can still get there from here. We just got to squeeze right between these buildings. And right over here is our bale trailer. So we're going to get loaded up to that. So let's line ourselves up here. And let's back on up and get connected. All right, we're loaded up. We, well, we're not loaded up, but we got the bale trailer connected at least. We can hold 14 bales with this sucker, and we're only hauling uh, eight, so it's not like we're going to have too much of a load here. But we'll hop up in the truck, and we will get heading on over back to that uh, fella's farm, and we'll get these bales loaded up. Now we're buying some bales to try and get to going on our cattle operation here. We are going to be using money that we're getting from the sba and the usda to operate on now we haven't got that money quite yet but we will be getting that money here soon all right here we are we're pulling back into the farmer's house and we are going to take a right here and this should lead us right over to where we need to go make sure our trailer's going to clear everything looks good and left right here maybe uh we gotta find a good way to turn around here all right so now let's just swing this trailer back on i'm trying to stay out of your grass as much as i can here buddy i know i'm sorry and we'll line ourselves back up in fact i could just stay right here on this road I wonder if he'll mind me pulling into his field back here. I don't think he should. Doesn't look like he's made any progress on his field, so it's not like we're going to be hurting anything. So we'll just pull back into his field and hope we don't get stuck. We haven't gotten rain, so we shouldn't. But I think right there ought to do. In fact, we might just pull forward just a little bit. Give us a little more room. There we go. Let's go and shut off the truck. And we'll hop into the Bobcat and get to loading up these bales. Got to sneak around the little tree there. There we go. Let's lift it up. Whoop. And there we go. Bale number one. Woo! She's heavy. Woo hoo hoo. I can feel the weight on that one, boys. All right, so we're going to try and lift it up nice and easy. <laughs> nice and easy. There we go. Easy, easy. Easy forward does it. Come on now. Whoop. There you go. And just set that bale right on down into there. Let it set on down into it. I think these bales are a little bit too big for that bale trailer now. All right, here we go. Bale number two, lifting it up. And we have got no tires on the back on the ground there, man. Jeez. So we're hauling eight bales. We're going to do four and four, try and spread this load out as much as we can. Let's lift that up nice and easy. Get it right onto the trailer there. That's perfect right there. And can I push it? Come on. Ooh, those are so heavy, dude. All right, there we go. Next bale is loaded on. These are so heavy that it's going to take a lot for our skid steer to push all of these. But we'll keep going and get the rest of them loaded up here. All right, there we go. We've got the last of the bales loaded up onto the trailer. We've already strapped them down. I did that before I pulled the bobcat out just because I didn't want to accidentally pull the bales off. But we'll just set the bobcat right over here for the time being. We'll come back and get that in just a little bit. Before we can do that, we've got to get this trailer back over to the farm. So let's fire up the truck and get on down the road. Looking at our load, I think we could have fit maybe one, maybe two more bales uh, per row here. Probably just one more bale per row, but we've got a pretty good load here for now and no reason to complain. So we're going to head back over to the farm and uh, then we'll come back over and pick up the bobcat. All right, we are back at the farm. Let's go ahead and slow on down. Uh, we missed the turn. Okay, let's go ahead and take the second driveway into the farm then. There we are. We'll turn right on in. There we go. Right on down and in. Nice and easy. Perfect. So the first thing I need to do is decide where our bale storage is going to be. You know what? Forget it. We're parting the bales outside and I'll figure it out later. That's what we're doing. And you know what else? We're just going to put the bales right in here. I'll go right down the middle and this is where they're going to go for now. All right, right there we'll do. Let's get out and remove these straps here. Now this area is a little tight and this probably isn't going to work very well. 
but we'll give it a try. So let's see. And let's unfold and let the bales roll right off into the walls and get stuck. Ooh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh boy, this is a problem because I can't really fold myself back up because we're going to cause a big old problem here. Oh, y'all, I knew that this was going to be an issue. I should have never put the bales here. I should have just not done this. This was a mistake. Well, we got it out and we messed up the bales, but you know what? It is what it is. At least the bales are here. Now we just got to get this trailer taken off the truck and, and we'll go over and pick up the bobcat and then we'll go and do the rest of our work today. All right, trailer's disconnected. Bales are dropped off. Let's go get our bobcat back and let's finally get into the rest of our day. All right, we're back at this guy's house and we are going to get our skid steer loaded up here. In fact, I don't know why I pulled over here because I can't do it here. Let's go take the truck over next to that barn where I will be able to do this. All right, there we go. We are in place, ready to load it on up. I'm actually going to shut the truck off and we'll just hop across this and get in our Bobcat and get it loaded up. All right, so let's just pull right on up onto here and uh, we will line ourselves up and get this loaded onto the truck here shall we easy easy oh i said easy here we go easy 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 we're pushing the truck come on don't do that don't push the truck get on the truck oh we pushed the truck even further there we go easy 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 right onto it strain it out hey that worked even better than last time nice all right could put a couple straps down and we are loaded up with the bobcat let's get on back over to the farm all right guys we are showing back up to the farm we're gonna pull on in here get the bobcat offloaded come on truck slow down there you go that's all right we'll just back on into the farm it'll be fine so we're gonna get this thing unloaded here and then we will move on to our next task if we can get this backed up here and to stay here that's what we need nope there we go start rolling again ah dang it all right, that's fine. Maybe I can utilize this to get me offloaded. Let's try this out. All right, right there we'll have to do... There's going to be a bit of a bump, but I think it'll work just fine. So we're going to do that. Hop up in, fire it up. We'll pick up the hydraulics here, make sure that's out of the way. And do easy. Oh, oh, uh, hey, look at that. Look at that. See, that's how you unload right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe I lied. Maybe that's not how you do it. Nope, it's definitely how you do it. Perfect. There we go. Right back into the barn. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you guys are enjoying the double the content couple weeks that we're going to be trying out here, then make sure you like the videos and make sure you subscribe. Maybe tell your friends and have them subscribe as well. That would really mean a lot to me. I'm putting in double the amount of work right now to give you guys both farming content and the crazy content. And if you guys want this to continue, if you want me to continue doing both styles of content, then you need to let me know by subscribing and liking the videos. Otherwise, we very well might go back to just doing one video a day, but we'll see how things go. Like I said, we're gonna be testing the waters for the next week or two. But that's it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see y'all later. Can you picture